This is her narrator, John, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. In today's story, Op found his wife trying to get into bed with one of her colleagues and get caught when almost at it. Now Op is planning to get his case strong and protect his share after the divorce. Let's get into the story. To give some background, me and my wife met when we were around 10 years old, we have had a thing for each other ever since, but only got serious when we turned 18. I knew she was infatuated with me, and I was with her so the only plausible next step was marriage. I proposed to her on Valentine's Day at a getaway weekend when we were 21 and the rest is history. We both make it work with money in our day-to-day -day lives. Everything was perfect in my mind. The infidelity began when I was using her phone, I saw texts from a guy from her work and this wasn't any direct flirting but was still odd and suggestive. If you asked me, she'd say things like I've had such a long day at work and he'd say we need to relax together and so on. I admit I have a temper and I was not about to let this happen. I told her she could no longer contact him and to block him in front of my face. I told her I would leave her if she didn't she did everything I asked. So this brings me to Sunday night. I own a business with my cousin. We started at around age 20 and it really took off. We have an office where I sometimes sleep when the workload gets on top of me. So I texted my wife from about midday saying me and my cousin are going probably be here all night. I'll order in so you can eat without me and don't wait up. Love you, she responded minutes later telling me she was a bit sad wasn't going to see me that night, but wished me well with my work and said she loves me too. All was good. Fast forward to later that night I decided the work had taken enough of my weekend and that I wanted to see my wife who I thought also wanted to see me. So around 7 p.m., I began making my way home when I got home, I heard talking upstairs, but couldn't make it out, so I went up in there. I saw my wife and the guy, I admit I didn't handle it the best I could have. I started by beating him up, and he tried to say, man, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. I kicked him out of the house and sent him to walk home without his shoes. My wife was hysterical from the moment I walked in and I came very close to getting physical with her, but I didn't. Through all of this, she cried and cried saying it was a stupid mistake, but by this point, my concerns from the text messages were proved to be justified. I repeatedly told her to save her breath and that I did not want to hear any of the idiotic explanations she had. I considered going back to the office, but I said, no, forget that and told her to get her stuff and stay wherever she could, I wanted her out of my sight. She stayed with her best friend since my phone has been blown up by her friends and family, but I've ignored them. I told her dad what happened, though, he was livid and took my side. Since the first day, my anger has transitioned to sadness over fact that our almost lifelong journey has been thrown away for some sleazy dude from her work. I have been staying busy but would be lying if I said every idle moment I get hasn't been spent sulking, crying, or lamenting over what happened. I'm contacting my lawyer tomorrow morning to get our divorce rolling. Updates after the first post I did quite a few things, got us TD check all clear, I signed my share of the business over to my business partner, my cousin, until the divorce is settled. I cancelled her phone contract that I paid for, took down all pictures I had with her, and packed all of her close up. The STD check was negative, which was a good start, but still not enough to get me out of the dumps. The situation still had me upset, I was unable to forget about it due to her family and her family constantly blowing up my phone. I eventually went for a sit down with her parents her mom attempted to talk me back into the family, whereas her dad knew I was a man set in my ways and was very disappointed in his daughter. This happened about two days after the post. I like her dad and believe we'll stay in contact due to the fact that we are both simple men who understand each other. I've always respected him and it's a shame his daughter is stopping me from legally being his son anymore. As for her friends who have called me more times than I could count, I just ignored them. I spent a lot of time with my friends and family which helped I had a friend come over and we spent a few hours taking down pictures of her and taking all her stuff out of the house. This was very therapeutic for me and felt as though I was washing the stain from my life it helped 10 times more than I thought it would. Divorce proceedings are in order. However, I believe I'll have serious issues with her signing the papers and so on. 
I already signed away my share of my company so she doesn't get her cheating hands on that. I have gone complete no contact other than with lawyers as you all suggested. I battled with the idea of using the affair partner's wife as leverage in case he tried to press charges on me. I did lay hands on him when I caught him in my home. In the end, I thought why not and messaged her on Facebook. She initially believed me and then came back and said he told her that it's alive. All I had to do was show her the doorbell footage of him entering my front door and being sent away without his shoes. I don't think he's happily married anymore. Now on to my next chapter, my mother thought it would be fun for me to come to her work Christmas party, I thought, why not? Since I hadn't gotten out at all since the incident and deserved a little time out, I went and was introduced to one of her co-workers daughters, we hit it off and actually left the party together, but didn't hook up that same night. A few nights before Christmas Eve, she came over and we properly hit it off we hooked up numerous times and she ended up staying for two nights. Now she's no love at first sight, but she is a lovely woman who's most definitely keeping me in good company during the time I needed Christmas Day was harder than I expected as I spent it with my significant other for a while. However, my family was around me keeping me fed, which helped a lot. Overall, I think I'm coping way better than I thought. I just wanted to say thanks again to everyone who reached out to me. Oh, P, I'm glad to hear what has transpired in your life since finding out about the affair, you seem to be in a good place mentally and have things to be happy about. I'm hoping that the woman you just met can blossom into a healthy relationship I do find it kind of concerning that you signed away your business during this time period. It may come across as suspicious to the court and seem like you have something to hide, hopefully. It doesn't work out that way, though. I'm glad you are healing well from the situation and wish you all the best. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and comment below on what your thoughts are on today's stories. Take care, everyone.